It is amazing to me how many in the young generation today want everything handed to them, preferably on a silver platter with some solid gold spoons and forks. And it really doesn't work that way. Every generation is going to have to fight battles. Otherwise, a generation becomes, forgive me, weak and worthless. I look at young pastors sometime and I, I tell them, you know, I can create an opportunity for you. I can, by the grace of God given to me, I, I can get buildings built for you. I can open churches that one day you will pastor. I, I can create opportunities for you. Whether you succeed or fail is completely dependent upon you and your walk with God. We can open doors for you. We can create opportunities for you. But as a young pastor or a young pastora, it's your walk with God and who you are on the inside that's going to determine success or failure. Now, this is true in ministry. This is true in every level of leadership in the church. This is true in business. This is true in careers. Now, I want you to notice something that God says in Judges chapter 3, beginning with verse 1. These are the nations that the Lord left in the land to test those Israelites who had not experienced the wars of Canaan. He did this to teach warfare to the generations of Israel who had no experience in battle. He said, now listen, I've left battles for you to fight. I didn't have this generation win every battle. I've left battles for you to fight because you have to learn warfare. I've left you these enemies to fight, to teach warfare to the next generation who have had no experience in battle. One of the reasons God leaves things undone, one of the reasons he leaves battles yet to fight, is so that every new generation can gain some experience in battle. Now bring this over to Paul's teaching Timothy, 1 Timothy 6, beginning with verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession of the presence of many witnesses. Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. To all of the younger pastors, to all of our younger leaders, for 40 years, our generation has worked to build a future for you. And yes, I think that's a good thing that we have done. We have not consumed everything on our generation. We have invested and built, and built opportunities and built platforms and foundations for your generation. But there are many battles yet to fight. And the reason these battles are there is for you to gain experience, for you to learn spiritual warfare, for you to learn the necessity of fasting and prayer, for you to learn the necessity of, of the fight of faith, for you to learn patience, for you to learn perseverance, for you to learn to take on the Goliaths of your generation. You, you can't go from nothing to all of a sudden Satan brings a big challenge against you. God said, I've left battles for you to fight. I've left good fights of faith for you to, to go through and gain experience. So young people, don't look for everything handed to you on a silver platter with solid gold spoon and fork and a, a crystal glass to drink from. Look for opportunities. Look for an open door and say, you know what? I'm willing to pick up that fight in Jesus' name.